So in this example, we begin with the following redox reaction. So zinc solid reacts with nickel in the aqueous state to produce zinc in the aqueous state and nickel solid. We are also given our cell potential or cell voltage of our electrochemical cell under standard conditions of one bar pressure and one molar concentration. And this is 0.51 volts. We're also given the concentrations of nickel of this guy and the concentration of the zinc in the aqueous state of this guy. So notice that 2 and 3 represent non-standard conditions. And in fact, our goal is to find the cell potential under these non-standard state conditions. So whenever we hear the word non-standard and cell potential, we have to think nursed equation. And that's exactly what we do in step two. But before we can use this equation, we have to find our Q. So in step one, that's what we do. Remember, Q is a ratio of the concentration of products over the concentration of reactants. And our expression is similar to K, equilibrium constant, except this condition represents a situation that is not at equilibrium. So, we basically take our concentration of this guy and divide it by the concentration of reactants of this guy. Now, we don't include this guy or this guy. Why? Well, because they're in the solid states. Solid atoms or liquid atoms are not included in our expression. Only gas molecules and aqueous atoms are included in our expression. And notice that we're giving these guys, right? This guy is 0.05 molar, while this guy is 5 molar. So we divide 0.05 divided by uh, 5. That uh, gives us 1 over 100, which is 0.01. The M's cancel, so this guy is unitless. And recall what Q tells us about our reaction. If Q is less than 1, that means we have a lot of this guy and none of this guy. In this situation, for every 1 of this guy, for every 1 of Z in the aqueous state, we have 100 of nickels in the aqueous state. And that means we have much more reactants than products. And according to Le Chatelier's principle, this reaction will be very product favored. It will want to form the products. So, that's what Q tells us. Let's see what we can deduce from number two. In number two, we're going to find the cell potential. Now, E is equal to E, this guy, minus R times T divided by N times F times LN natural log of Q. Now, under a pressure or under a uh, temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, we can rewrite this equation into this format. Now, this guy we know, the Q we know, so what is the N? Well, the N is the number of moles of electrons released by this equation. So notice that our zinc solid is the guy that gets oxidized. It releases two moles of electrons, right? So that means this guy accepts two moles. It's reduced into zinc solid. So our N is two. So let's plug all our values into our formula and we get 0.51 volts minus this number times log of 0 0.01 uh, divided by our moles 2. Now what we get is a number 0 0.5692 that's greater than our uh, cell potential at equilibrium. What that means is that this condition of this concentrations of non-standard conditions represent a situation in which the reaction is more product favored than at equilibrium. And that makes sense because this guy represents a condition at the beginning. So when we first add our Z and our nickel, what will happen? Well, we won't have a lot of products formed. We're going to have a lot of reactants. So according to Le Chatelier's principle, where this reaction will be very product favored, very spontaneous in this direction. And that's exactly what Q tells us, and that's exactly what this new E tells us. The fact that this guy is bigger than our equilibrium cell potential means that this reaction is more product favored than equilibrium. 